Looking for company, Logan? Funny, you strike me as a loner. Who, me? I like people. Problem is, people usually don't like me back. Well, we need your skills, so consider yourself liked here. And my apologies about the circumstances. When you get to be my age, you end up carrying so much baggage people would rather leave you in the dust. So, uh, thanks for not leaving this old man behind. Trust me, you do not need to worry about your personal problems. We all have them here. Oh yeah, I could tell right away this place was like a clubhouse for the deeply disturbed. I'm just bummed I didn't bring my toothbrush. Well, you are welcome to stay here as long as you want. I gotta admit, Sarah's got a pretty swanky setup. Puts Xavier's bad to shame. Some people think it is a little... spooky. A spooky place for spooky people. <laughs> Seems like home. Morning, Blaze. Want to do some Spirit of Vengeance training in the yard? <sighs> oh man, I sound so lame. Oof, freaking hopeless. Who are you talking to, Robbie? Sparky? Oh, hey there, Hunter. Um, didn't see you standing there. I was just talking to myself, trying to hype myself up. Uh, hype yourself up for what? If we're gonna be working with Blaze, and he starts hanging out at the Abbey, and we're driving across the desert together killing demons, I need to be cool. I mean, he's the original spirit of vengeance, the real Ghost Rider. And I'm just... Robbie Reyes, from East LA. How the hell am I supposed to live up to that? Take it as a challenge to yourself. Johnny Blaze created his reputation as a fearsome warrior through his actions, and you can do the same. He's got more than a reputation. He's a legend. And you can have your own legend. Just put in the hard work. Look at me. I'm standing here in the middle of this ancient abbey, surrounded by some of Earth's greatest heroes. And I still don't really feel like I belong. I mean, look at you. You're not intimidated by anyone. How do you own that swagger? I do not fear being, as you say, hardcore. <laughs> Hooey! Hell yeah! That's how Sparky and I like to roll. Just continue to do what must be done without regret and without apology. You will find your footing here. Well, thanks for the heart to heart, or demon to demon, <laughs> or whatever. You've given me and Sparky a lot to digest. See you around, Hunter. I'd count cards if I knew how to do math. You know me, I'm always game for distractions. That was a hell of a sparring session, Eliana. Ain't gonna go easy, bub. Nice match, kid. Think Doctor Strange knows Merlin? I'm still waiting for someone to take this sword. I could not have predicted this outcome, but it is intriguing. All right, let's get started, Dr. Spooky.
Lovecraft, Crowley, Transcendental Magic, Conquest Through Technology and Mysticism by Victor Von Doom. <laughs> Guessing this library doesn't carry the Hardy Boys. I am unfamiliar with their work. I brought you here, Hunter, so we might reconnect with your roots. To remind you of who you are, where you came from, and where you can go. And, more importantly, who I believe you can become. Okay. So where do you see me going, Steve? Not to sound like a self-help book, Hunter, but sometimes it's more about the journey than the destination. Keep striving to be the best version of the Hunter you can be. If you keep doing the work, nothing will be out of your reach. Except for that row of encyclopedias at the top of that bookshelf. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need a ladder for that. I like to come here, away from all the noise. It is heartwarming that I am not noise to you. Obviously, you're better than that. Maybe even, you know, my equal. I cannot believe the Dark Child sees me as an equal. Just be honored and never mention it again. But this is a moment I will treasure for eternity, Ileana. Maybe I can even ask Robbie to make us matching t-shirts to commemorate it. You're the worst. So bad you might even impress the likes of Mephisto. That does not sound appealing. Better to impress the Prince of Lies than to provoke his contempt. What he respects, he also fears. I will never apologize for being comfortable with my darkness, and neither should you. What do I care what others think? And you should not either. Be proud of who you are. It's easier to ignore the chorus of stuck-up moralists when you have a friend who doesn't judge you. A friend like you. I am honored I can be that friend to you, Ileona. It was an unexpected gift, but one I am happy to receive. When this battle is over, you should come back with me. Join the X-Men. Is that your plan? Rejoining the X-Men? Maybe. Piotr would love it if I came back. What about Nico, Robbie, and Blade, the Midnight Suns? You would really leave them? Once you are a son, you never really leave, no matter where you go. In any case, I hope we can continue fighting side by side in the future. If there is a future, that is. Ileana, you and the Suns are the future. At least you have given me hope for it. Uh, don't get too sentimental on me, Hunter. I was just beginning to like you. What are you doing out here? You call that a pickup line, Hunter? You're supposed to ask, come here often, and set me up with a real zinger. Uh-huh. Well, since that's ruined, I guess we can cut straight to the chase. I wanted to apologize. What are you apologizing for? Oh, you know, terrorizing you with my awesome jokes, stealing only one sock so you're left without the other pair. Real menacing behavior. Oops, trying to be genuine. <clears throat> I'm trying to be real with you. I see. But change is hard, and I'm lazy. Not everything in life is easy. Well, it should be. I deserve to be a pile of meat and bones who does nothing and gets everything. Think of it like a fun challenge. Oh yeah? Convince me. 
not knowing what the journey will hold is half the fun. No fair. That answer is such a cop-out. Are you not curious to see what a new version of Deadpool could be like? Maybe a little. Do you think he's funnier and cuter than me? There is only one way to find out. Through time travel! D or self-improvement! You really think I can change? I've been retconned before. Let's do it again! Change is possible for all of us. You must invest in yourself to make it happen. I'm no businessman. I don't even understand stonks. It is okay. It is a process. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for sticking around. I haven't made it easy. No, but you have made it fun. Right? So, is this where we hold hands and ride off into the sunset? Huh. Telling you my deepest, darkest secrets made me feel a lot lighter. I wonder if this means I can fly now. Why are you smiling? Because you're dead. Hangman. Damn it. No offense, Hunter, but you suck. I couldn't have come up with an easier answer. The irony of a Dampier telling me that I suck is not lost on me, Eric. Hey, keep it down or this game isn't the only thing you'll be losing tonight. Is that why you brought me here? To tell me how much I suck at parlor games? Actually, I'm here to tell you how much you don't suck. You're turning out to be one of my favorite people, and I don't like people. I also enjoy our hangs, as Robbie might call them. I like to think of myself as more of a friend at this point, Hunter. Been a while since I've had someone to lean on who handles their inner demons with as much swagger as you do. You remind me of this guy I used to work with, Hannibal King. He knew how to walk the line between good and evil without falling off, not unlike you. Sounds like another kindred spirit. He was. Man, was he one lousy vampire. But I guess you have to be a lousy vampire to be a good vampire detective. Vampire detective? That is a first. We worked together to track down the vamp who killed my mother, Deacon Frost. He didn't have to help me, but he did. Proves that even the baddest of the bad can still have a heart, even if it's not beating. Resisting succumbing to your own darkness takes a shitload of willpower. I'm proud of you for resisting yours. Just don't fall off the wagon. What happens if I do? Then I'll just have to kill you, just like I killed my mentor Jamal. You never told me what happened with that. Well, here's the abridged version. Dracula turned Jamal into a Class A Nosferatu, and I had no choice but to put him down. Hardest thing I ever had to do. But mark my words, Hunter. If you ever go 100% evil on me, I won't think twice about taking you out too. I would do the same for you, you know. What do you mean? If you ever became a danger to others, I would stake you in a heartbeat. Well, let's hope it never comes down to that. Already lost enough friends that way. Don't want to lose another. Then here's to not killing each other. I'll drink to that. Oh, and Hunter, this blood's for you. This isn't working. The map table? Should I get Tony? No, I mean Midnight Suns, Avengers, and now X-Men. The Abbey. None of it's working. And I have no one to blame but myself. Self-pity? 
That is not you. No self-pity. It's fact. Three teams under the same roof, all fighting for different reasons. Nothing to bring us together. It's not too late to change that. If Agatha were here, she'd tell me... No, oh, it doesn't matter. She isn't here. If she were here, what do you think she would tell you to do? To stop being so stubborn. That bringing everyone together is long overdue. And that she loves you? Yes. So, what now? I'm calling a meeting. When? Tonight. I'll spread the word. Find me after your mission. We can go there together. All right. Just because there is talk of a slime monster lurking beneath Manhattan does not mean... Oh, it does. <sighs> Look, I know Eddie and Venom. They're not what you'd call unsore losers. And we did, you know, kind of bury them under an old bell tower. Has anyone seen the creature since? Long gone by the time S.H.I.E.L.D. showed up. They go to ground when you wound their pride. In this case, underground. Venom on the loose? Licking his wounds? Now that's a friendly neighborhood problem. So, how about we go solve it? Do you have a question? <sighs> you gotta work on your social cues. Are you worried that Venom will hold a grudge? I wouldn't say worried. I've come to expect it. And you still think this is a good idea? Yeah. Eddie tries to be a savior, but sometimes he needs to be saved from himself. Besides, what's the worst that could happen? He could eat one of us? That desert sun is so hot! Good thing my symbiote doesn't sunburn. Slime in the world. So, where's our slime monster? Vampire. Ah, vampires. Maybe it's the Downtown Express? Sounds like a lair. Sounds like... Slime monster. 
time for seconds! Breakfast for dinner, I guess. With a side of vamp over easy. Not so easy for the vamp. Oh, gross, Eddie! It's hard to know who to root for in these parasite versus parasite situations. Parasite? A demonically possessed symbiote? With a vampire's bloodlust. Not good. Come on, Eddie, don't do this! They are definitely doing this. <laughs> I should have known that thing would crawl back to the sewers. Once the others had no use for it. We have no use for Lilith! We don't need her! Tell yourself whatever you have to. Uh, not to interrupt, but have you really been eating those vampires, Eddie? The rarest meat of all! Over the years, Lilith's disciples have come in many forms. The power of the light. As a child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. Your time has come! We're too weak for this fight. Late to run now. <laughs> I saw an acrobat once as a child, but he was not nearly on your level. This shall be of great help.
There is no escape. Your mother abandons you. being chased across the city, but this is really getting gross. Somehow the smell is even worse down here. He's not eating roses. <laughs> Move like that once centuries ago. The light is on our side. Do I want to know what was in that? Invigorating. Ready? They will not forget that. Eddie, we had our differences, but were they really as bad as this? <laughs> we have had enough of all of you. I'm really getting <laughs> Maybe you do not realize the trouble you are, friend. <laughs> Someone get this off of me.
My Greek mythology is a little rusty, but didn't the Hydra originally have nine heads? Right, I'm feeling it! Energy from every pore. Don't lose it, pal. Either of you. He is lost. One mercy remains. Ah, yes. The elimination of one tormented soul for the good of many. Humans do love a moral dilemma. The umami of an otherwise flavorless existence. Mephisto. Gesundheit. Uh, nice mullet. Go to hell. There's nowhere I would rather be, but I've come on business. So let's make a deal. Is this one of those fiddle at the crossroads scenarios or no deal? My terms are as follows. I spare venom. I cure the symbiote of Lilith's demonic touch. I end the blood fever he's given himself, gorging on curdled vampire bile. I wretched little thinking of it. I said, no deal. All this, and I ask but one inconsequential thing in return. Stop the vampire uprising. The undead are bad for business. So you cure Eddie and we keep doing what we've been doing? Yes. Wipe them out. Remove every trace of their foul scourge from the earth. Then I will cure this pathetic creature forever. For the last time, no. Hold up. Give me the fine print. Nothing much. The usual. If you should fail, you'll discover something far more threatening than the undead, namely all truly, etc., etc., immortal soul, yada yada. This is a bad idea. This or he dies? We don't have much of a choice. I'm in. Good. Just sign there and there. You may feel a little steep. Get him, Ed. We should follow. You do have a vampire war to wage. Oh, and Peter, I'll see you around. How did he know my... Huh. <laughs> of all the surprises we've had so far, that was one of the weirdest. So, uh, that's a truce then, right, Eddie? We feel like ourselves again. Weaker, but ourselves. We will spare you. Hey, that's progress. He didn't threaten to eat you. That is progress. Might sting a little. We've been on the wrong side of that move before. Ah! 
They cannot possibly match your strength. This one is you! Like it's up to me. you think? I never wanted that. I was trying to keep you from meeting my neighbors. Well, that is kind of my job. Had your chance to escape. Feel my call. Ha! Huh. I think that's the last of them. And not a moment too soon.
Is that... Eddie? Well, this is awkward. You are the man in the monster. Something like that. So, you okay, Eddie? Blood! <laughs> it's kidding, little joke. Uh, no, I, I come in peace. For once. Really? New kids gotta get in on this too? Hey, by the way, you're killing it out there. Respect. Uh, thank you. Not my first vampire war. Eddie, are you yourself again? Well, you mean, are we ourselves? Yeah, Lilith. She made us a monster. We did awful things. You know that's not who we are, right? Of course. So I'm sitting here. Well, in there, and thinking. <clears throat> I saw what you did for me. So, how about we put aside all our, uh, you know, personal stuff? Okay. No, not forever. Just, just until this whole messed up vampire situation is figured out. Till all the innocent people are safe. I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Works for me. Shake on it. Oh. Huh. Wait a sec. Put her there, partner. I'm there, partner. Welcome to the Midnight Suns? You guys really put the home in home base. This is an impressive setup. I hope the accommodations are better than what my mother provided. Uh, your mother gave me a lot of stuff, but most of it was grief. Uh, thanks again for what you did for me. As if my past wasn't complicated enough, your mother added a fresh pile of regrets. Eddie, you are here because a mutual friend believes in you. Uh, you mean he believes I'm trouble. And he's not entirely wrong. I do not want you at each other's throats. Look, Parker and I have a complicated history, but it's water under the bridge. Oh, well, I guess we're still building that bridge. But we have bigger fish to fry. From the yeah, bridge. But enough about us. Can you trust me after everything that happened? I mean, I kept trying to eat you. I cannot blame you for everything my mother made you do, but your past gives me pause. Well, don't worry about me. I'll be on model behavior. I hate to waste a get-out-of-jail-free card. So, now that we've cleared the air, I'm a little worried about the deal we made with the devil. That's the first time I've meant it literally. I agree with you, but Peter made his decision. Our plan was to stop the new breed vampires. Now we can do so with your help. Maybe. I can't shake the feeling that he traded the devil we know for the devil we... Well, for another devil we know. Why are there so many devils? If the world ends, we shall never know. 
I'm glad you sound confident. The symbiote and I are on the fence. No offense, but I hear there's a gym here, and I'm itching to check it out. I'm gonna do that, unless you need something else. Sounds good. Have a good workout. I'm around if you need me. Hey, kiddo. Almost time for the meeting. I'm ready. All right. It's not far from here. Hello, my dear. What are you doing here? Whenever Sarah was this nervous, I used to keep close. A look, a smile, a touch on the shoulder. It always helped. I can't do that now, of course, but death can't stop me from watching over her. Why would she be nervous? I don't know. I think I'll stay and find out. Everyone's here. I should begin. You sound like you are hesitating. That's because I am. I could use a moment to collect my thoughts. Take your time. I will catch up with the others. Thank you. It won't be long. Good thing you're fired. Nobody knows what this is about. Did she say something to you? Not really. Huh. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Any idea what this is about? Not really. I think she's gonna yell at somebody. Why do you say that? Hmm, just a feeling. I... What a waste of my evening. Do you know what this is about? No, but it will be a waste, I am certain. What's your game, Hunter? All right, I'm ready. We are all ready to hear what you have to say. Time to tear off the bandage. Thank you all for coming. Truthfully, I wasn't sure everyone would. And that's why we're meeting. The Hunter and I are working to stop Lilith and her master, Cathan. I'm not certain about the rest of you. Uh, we're in this to the end. Are you? I see petty rivals more concerned with scoring points off one another than stopping the mother of demons. Whoa there, if anyone isn't pulling their weight, it's the Midnight Suns. And if anyone's doing their own thing, it's the Avengers. And the ringleaders prove my point. But I speak only for myself. So, I ask the Hunter... Who is responsible for the dysfunctional state in which we find ourselves? It is not any one team. It is your failure to bring us together. Whoa. You throw us at an impossible problem, withhold vital information, and then blame us for not getting things right. You set us up to fail. And so we do. Ooh, damn. If contempt for my methods builds unity, then so be it. She will destroy everything you know, pollute all you love. In this, she and her followers are unified. To serve Lilith is to serve Cathan. If you don't pull the same direction, if you'd rather fight each other, we've already lost. Look, the Midnight Suns are unproven. I will grant that they have potential, but we can't trust an apocalyptic threat to the Halloween teens. Um, we're all in our 20s. Could've fooled me. See? The Avengers underestimate their allies. You think they'll do otherwise for the Mother of Demons? If they're in charge, we lose. You're both right. The only one who can lead us to victory is the Hunter. Huh. That's our Steve. 
What do you say, Hunter? Are you willing to lead us against your own mother? There is no better person for the task at hand. Confidence is good for a leader. Arrogance? Not so much. You think I am arrogant? I hope not. But either way, I'm sure we'll find out. We're your team, Hunter. Tell us how you plan to lead us. I will chase my mother to hell if I have to. The question is, will any of you? If you will not give everything you have, the rest of us do not need you. Highly inspirational, boss, but let's get down to vibranium tax. We're all equal here, and it's obvious my team is first among equals. Look, there's no question these kids have heart. We can't do any of this without them. But this isn't our first apocalypse, and experience beats heart any day of the week. Boss, I need to know where we stand on this. What I say, we do. There is no power behind the throne, Tony. Your team is here to carry out my will. If you cannot get behind that, go back to the ruins of Avengers Tower. Oh, damn, Hunter! Um, not to interrupt this feel-good moment, but what about us? It's no secret we were sidelined when Tony and the others showed up. Caretaker built our team to face this threat, but we've been pushed aside. We... Uh, I need to know that ends here. I would never doubt the capabilities of the Midnight Suns. You know that, do you not? Of course, and we aren't asking for special treatment, just... A seat at the table? Yeah, exactly. Of course you will have that. Everyone will. You have my guarantee. That's enough for tonight. I want all of you to reflect on what we said. If you'll excuse me, I need a moment with the hunter. So that's it. We did what we could. Let's hope it works. I had no idea this was coming. Kiddo, you have no poker face. For the others to consider you as a leader, your reaction needed to be genuine. Was Steve in on this? No, but he respects you, and I had a feeling he'd speak his mind. If he hadn't suggested you take the reins, it would have been me. That is all I needed. Tonight, we pulled the plunger and set the ball rolling. The rest is gravity, and the occasional nudge. Is that a pinball reference? In the 70s, Agatha insisted I pick up a hobby. I won a few tournaments. Why do I know about pinball? Perhaps it's the universe telling you to challenge me when this is all done? Think I could take you? No. You drain faster than bathwater. Don't know about you guys, but that fired me up. Wait. You get excited when people yell at you? I should have. Peter, are you all right? Why? Because one of my ex nemeses now lives in the same building? Do I not look okay? I'm thinking calming thoughts. You seem very relaxed. Okay, good. Which is surprising, because when you sleep tonight, all that separates you from one of your greatest nemeses is a 500-year-old wooden door. And now I'm anxious. If it is an issue, we can find him alternative lodging. Perhaps in Limbo? 
No, no. I think this could be a good bonding experience for Eddie and me. Sure, I didn't exactly bond with the symbiote, but you know what I mean. I will take your word for it. Anyway, that's not the only reason I'm on edge. Back in the sewer, Mephisto called me by my name. Is that something I need to worry about? Peter, of course he knows. He is the devil. Kinda feels like I made a big mistake here. But I'd do it again. Eddie is worth saving. We shall see. I was really hoping for something more encouraging, but I guess I can live with cold-eyed pragmatism. So, what can we do for you, Hunter? Actually, I have to run. I'm around. Hmm. Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs or ghosts out here. Oh, you are gonna love this. Until next time. What were you reading, Doctor? One of those political spy thrillers Captain Rogers is always head down in? It's actually a medical journal on bispecific antibodies and the treatment of hematologic malignancies. Just some light reading. I hope you learned something that could give us an edge in battle. We need every advantage. I feel the same. I found that when I keep my mind sharp, I make better use of my body. In truth, I've been in survival mode so long, I don't know where to find my own off switch. Just know your limits. When you burn a candle to its ends, the light quickly fades. Your concern is noted, Hunter. I won't overdo it. Well, I should get back to my studies. Medical journals do not read themselves. But I'm working on that. I just wanted to say I appreciate you leaning on me out there in the field. But I feel you deserve fair warning. Associating with me too much can be hazardous to your health. Hazardous? What do you mean? I mean Sabretooth. He's killed everyone I've ever been close to. Girlfriends, co-workers, casual pals. 
He even killed my mail carrier. I am not too worried about Sabretooth, seeing as how I died once at the hands of my own mother. Sabretooth's a cold-blooded killer. My mother is a demonic goddess. <laughs> okay, you win. Nothing scares me much these days, except getting close to people. Because when I get close to someone, bad things tend to happen to them. So, I guess what I'm saying is... Thanks for being a pal, and watch your back. You know, when I first heard about Lilith and her apocalypse, I was skeptical that a resurrected half-demon warrior from the 17th century was going to be our best shot at beating her forces of darkness back. And now? Nico and company made the right call when they raised you from the dead. Because I'm pretty sure you're the one who's going to save the day. You are fond of Nico and magic and the rest of the sons, are you not? I am. I think their talents and competence have been totally overlooked by Caretaker. They deserve their day in the sun. And I'm pretty sure with the way you've been leading them, they'll get it. I am just following in your footsteps. There are three ways to lead, Hunter. By example, by example, and by example. When I enlisted, I was 90 pounds soaking wet. A light breeze would have knocked me over. Not what you call captain material. But I didn't give up. And I won't let you either. friend needs our help. Logan? But how did you get- I have my ways. Look, you want to help or not? <sighs> Depends on the friend. Aurora Monroe. Oh, of course. I'm free now. Good. You know where to find us. <laughs> where the trouble is. Eliana, thank you for coming. Aurora, you can always count on me. A friendship for all seasons is a powerful thing. Thank the goddess for that. We miss you at the school. You are always welcome home. I found my home with the Midnight Suns. But that does not mean I leave friends behind. What is the problem? A year ago, the Professor detected a mutant living here with dormant abilities. I met with her. A fierce young woman named Dahlia, and invited her to attend Xavier's school. She declined. The orphanage was all she knew. I came here today to see if she had changed her mind, but... According to the orphanage, she... disappeared three months ago. Let me guess. As soon as her powers manifested... It's my fault. I didn't want to push her. To take her away from the only place she felt safe. I thought she could hide in plain sight a bit longer. I was wrong. You did what you thought was right. As you always do. Dahlia would never harm another person. And now she slipped through the cracks. Another ghost in the wind. This city is not kind to its ghosts. Yes. 
Especially not when it's infested with vampires. That's why we're gonna find her before they do. They already found us. Protect the children, at any cost. As if preying on the innocent wasn't enough for them, they come for the most vulnerable. I would call them cowards. <laughs> scavengers looking for an easy meal. I've got something they can chew on right here. Ah, Logan. Together again. Just like old times. I will show you true power! That must have taken practice. Now it's my turn. Stay down. Glad to see you're representing the X-Men properly. I won't be turned back! A weak strike. should have been more vigilant. Dahlia was on her own here, alone with her burgeoning abilities. There was only so much you could do. Think how many mutants have faced the same difficulties. All of them. It seems a requirement of our upbringing to face such undeserved trials. It falls to us to ensure that doesn't happen. Not here, not anywhere. Will do. Together we are. Decent. Should do the trick. I'm 
I've always had a soft spot for Xavier's recruits. Enjoy your rest. I'm taking it. At least we got here in time to protect the children. Why bother protecting society's dregs? Hmm? It is beneath your stature. Beneath me, all I see is you. The new breed vampires are an evolution, just as mutants were before them. But vampires continue to grow. <laughs> mutants remain tethered to humanity. A broken branch on the evolutionary tree. These cast-offs are not your family. They are fuel. There is a food chain, and it is time we ate up. Surely you see it. Just as mutants push humanity ever closer to the ash heap, so too will this new breed. It is the natural order of this world. There is nothing natural about what you've done. Any mutant seeking to dominate humanity does not speak for us. Ah, oh, that is your mistake, not mine. Very effective. Want it done, right? Gotta do it yourself. Getting better after all these years. As they say, it gets the job done. You're ready. Not looking good for you.
encouraged. Fresh meat coming in. If you were truly evolved, you would see how your actions against those who cannot defend themselves are misguided. Oh, does humanity shed a tear for their countless meals? Do they care about their meat? One does not justify the other. Your mind is twisted. <laughs> or maybe I am seeing things more clearly than ever. Whatever works for you. There will be no escape. That will do. This is what you mean. will certainly help. Even the gods would not stand before us as arrogantly as you have. Better if you quit now. Some more flunkies coming in. We will not allow you to spread this plague across the world. My kind have little to fear from you. We are the future! If they're not scared yet, they better get started. More. I have your back. I owe you a Coke. Can you feel it in the air? Still the center of attention. Prevail, for now.
That was a quarter of my power. I'm glad the training stayed with you. The danger room left an impression. As you did, with Sin. She won't be back. It's why she was here in the first place that concerns me. Agreed. This is bigger than us. If we're going to take on Sin... And find Dahlia. We need reinforcements. Most of the X-Men are off-planet dealing with the Shi'ar Brood War. Don't worry. The Midnight Suns will help. Storm, is it? Indeed. You must be the hunter. Magic told me about you. Why does that make me nervous? <laughs> Nothing but good things, I promise. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. I must say, this place is unlike anything I've seen before. There is an air of mystery and wonder. But it feels welcoming and safe all at the same time. How curious. The Abbey is special. It even holds secrets that I have not uncovered. Sounds unique indeed. I can already see the similarities between here and Xavier's school. Speaking of, what do you think is the most interesting part of the Abbey? Those who reside here make each day interesting and fresh. Yes, the people are the lifeblood of a community. I can say the same for Xavier's school as well. The students are all colorful characters. There is never a dull moment in these halls. <laughs> if there was ever silence, I would grow worried. Apologies, I have been dominating the conversation. Have you any questions for me? Yes, I have a few. By all means, ask away. Can you tell me about your background? I won't go into too much detail, but I was left orphaned as a child. I learned how to fend for myself and became a skilled pickpocket. You stole from others? To survive, and it worked. I scraped by. After a few years, my mutant abilities presented themselves, and I was approached by Xavier to join the X-Men. The rest is history. I feel like you are leaving some parts out. <laughs> Perhaps. My past is just that. It is behind me, and I prefer to focus on what is ahead. What is your given name? Aurora Monroe. What about yours? The Hunter. Short and sweet. I like it. Does your name hold any significance like mine does? I was told it meant beauty. A little embarrassing, but I understand the intent. I saw bright lights coming from your hands. What was that? It's a little complicated, but I have the power to control the weather and atmosphere. What you saw back there was electricity. Wow, that is amazing. Uh, now I understand the meaning behind your name. Thunder and lightning don't roll off the tongue as easily. You said your powers are complicated. May I ask how? Maybe I'll go into full detail another time. But let's just say I can't mess with Mother Nature too much. I see. Like checks and balances? Exactly. I changed my mind. The offer still stands. Uh. 
So, what do you think of Storm? I am eager to work alongside her. Hmm. She has that effect on people. Even on you? She was my mentor. Of course I respected her. But it had to be earned first. Some leaders blather on to avoid making tough decisions. But not Storm. She did not go into much detail about the extent of her powers, but they sound impressive. Impressive? <laughs> she is 100% grade A badass. 100 badasses. Got it. Ah, oh, you are hopeless. Book club tonight. You in? Meet you there. I'll walk you. Wasn't the first time I've read The Art of War, but I prefer... Sin messed up big time trying to... Looks like we're all here. Grab a seat and let's get started. I am ready. The Art of War is one of my favorite books, if not my favorite. Can anyone guess why? Because it's not just about fighting, it's about how to conduct yourself when in conflict with others. Carol gets it. For quite a while, all my interactions with people involve some form of conflict. Interesting. This book laid things out for me. Help me understand, you don't always smash yourself against a problem face first. You must understand your enemy before you can hope to defeat them. Hunter, you get this more than most. You understood Lilith, which led you to discover her weakness. With that came her defeat. I lost 300 years to understanding. I would not call that a success. I would. Your sacrifice, whatever it was, kept the world from plunging into darkness. My point here, until we know what game Lilith is playing, there's no way we can break the rules. That's the only way we win. So the favorite book of a half-vampire was written by Master Sun. I'm the Daywalker. Of course it is. Carol. What stood out for you? Mm, the chapter about flexibility in warfare. Yes, it presented distinct situations, but at its core, it promoted a philosophy of adaptability. This is a subtle but key difference from the Kree War manuals I know. Those manuals lay out how to overcome every possible contingency. Because Kree commanders always expect an answer, exceptions can flummox the ones who let the rules think for them. Are Kree commanders really that predictable? Unless you have your own version of the Kree's supreme intelligence, unlikely. But yeah, still possible. The Art of War encourages fluidity of thought. The variations presented in the chapter on flexibility are examples, not rote technique. And that's how wars are lost. So I've been dying to know, what is Captain America's favorite part of this book? After this read? Everything he had to say about deception and warfare. Ooh, explain. Wait, what used to be your favorite? Discussions of leadership. There's a lot of good stuff in there. I've long since internalized all that worked for me and examined what didn't. But convincing your enemy that your greatest weakness is your most powerful strength. Or the opposite, that your strength is a vulnerability? Exactly. It struck me. Especially regarding our conflict with Lilith. So, what's our greatest strength? Lilith has no allies, just thralls. She is alone in this fight, but we are united. Are we? The greatest scientific mind I've known, sorry Tony, just defected to her side. What's to stop any of us from doing the same? I don't have an answer to the question I asked, but I plan to do what the art of war suggests. Learn her weakness. Adapt as the conflict evolves. 
keep Lilith guessing. And above all, think. And that'll do it. Great. So what's our next book? I told Carol she could pick the next one. I decided on volume 32 of the Kavat Koth. The what now? It's a cross between a legal text, a spaceborne invasion defense manual, and one of those sagas that Thor seems to love. Okay, then. I promise it's not a heavy read. I thought it would be a good companion to the art of war. See you all next time. I didn't know what I was getting into when I signed up, but I'm glad we have book club. I just came for the punch. It's fantastic punch. I learned how to make it in the war. It has been around that long? I thought it tasted funny. Hydra spent the war trying to steal the recipe, but the best they could come up with was the Red Skull Punch. Wow. Still got it. I'm nervous about my book. I don't know how much of it will translate. Not the language, the ideas. It is good to encounter new views. They help you better comprehend your own. You really connected with the art of war, huh? I think you'll like my choice. Give it a shot. That's all I ask. That went better than expected. Captain Marvel seemed quite impressed with your selection. No, she didn't. Did she? No, you're just messing with me. The book she chose? It sounds like the Kree version of the book you chose. You think so? I know so. Huh. That went way better than expected. That's all for now. You taking off or hanging out? That is it for me. Good meeting.